Another fun way to uh, duplicate content or to combine images or to use elements of an image more than once is to drag and copy a selection. And so the steps that you're going to use for this are to make a selection of the content you wish to copy, and you can refine that selection if you want to. Um, you don't need to do it in all cases. So for example, the, the image on the screen here, um, I'm just going to copy and paste it, and because of the texture in the image and, and the way that it works, it's, it's not going to be obvious that, that the second window was never there to begin with. If you switch to the Move tool, you can then Option or Alt click and drag a selection to make a copy of it. And in the case of this example, if you hold Shift when you're, when you're dragging and copying your, your duplicate, um, it will keep it straight. And so if I wanted the windows to be lined up, it would be straight. And so I found this image on the internet that I have open in Photoshop here. And I'm going to do just that for right now. And so the first thing I need to do, if I want to make windows that go across the top, if I do that, it's going to hit the second um, image here. And so I'm going to make a rough selection of it and I am going to replace it using Edit Fill and Content Aware Fill. And it did a pretty good job. I'm not going to worry about fixing it because that's not the purpose of, of this example. And then now that I have it, I want to show you how you can copy the windows. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Rectangular Marquee tool instead of the Lasso. And I am going to make a selection as close as I can to the window and now I have a copy and if you switch to the move tool which is on the very top tool in your tools panel and then with it selected if you change, let's zoom in a little bit here, if you change your your mouse to um, the drag copy mouse which if you hit the alt or the option key you'll get you can click plus drag to make a copy and so you could click plus drag and make a copy below if you wanted and then you could have two windows, or we could undo that. We could let's zoom back in. You could option, click plus drag and hold shift, and you could add windows across the building. And then you could make copies of, of the elements that you have in your page. And so maybe you have one of something, but you need to use it multiple times. Um, I chose this image with the bricks because you can't really tell that the, the images weren't there to begin with. Um, there is kind of a, a lighter side to it, so you want to do some more adjustments to kind of make it fit in better. But it's a really easy way if you hold down the Option or the Alt key and you click plus drag, you'll make a copy. You could even make that selection and then you could copy it instead of Alt plus K clicking, Command C, and then you could paste it onto a new layer. And so now if you wanted to move it around independently of the others, you could always feel free to do that kind of weird how it kind of lined up right there. It's hard to see the edge. Uh, but then you could move them down to the bottom if you wanted to make more copies to pretend like there was another set of windows for another four.